Philly's going to have a battle with Toronto in that first. I oh, agree man. with you. No way. Yes. Have you have you seen the Raptors? Have you Toronto's seen? Toronto's getting swept. Right it down. Oh, 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 right oh, right oh, oh. Toronto getting swept. Okay. So, step from behind the camera to in front of the camera. Well, we needed our uh, resident sports expert. Expert. I like right? that. Right. Yeah. Sport, like sport expert. <laughs> or sports expert. What would it be? Sports expert or the sport expert? The man of the sports. Oh, the man, man of, of the sports. Of the sports. Well, what I do we like think that. about Shaq? Because what is Shaq a, a man of? A man of disrespect. Disrespect. A man of shade. A first, man let's, of no let's, behavior. Let's give him his flowers first. A man of bad taste. Let's give him his flowers first, Come on, and then we, we'll get there. Everybody knows everybody respects, like loves okay, Shaq. Yeah. Like he's he a has legend, a, right? he's a legend. He is, well, so that yeah. goes without saying. But he disrespected our city. He disrespected Toronto yes, by saying, and I quote. That Toronto will get swept by Philly in the playoffs. Very mm -hmm. flippantly, too, like without any regard for. <laughs> in fact, here's the clip. Philly's going to have a battle with Toronto in that first. I agree with you. No way. Yes. Have you have you seen the Raptors? Have you Toronto's seen? Toronto's getting swept. Right enough. Oh, 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 right oh, right oh, oh. Toronto getting swept. Okay. All right, so before we respond and give you our takes, what we need you to do is a few things, including subscribing to the channel, tapping that notification bell, make sure to follow us on all of our social media and smash the like button. Okay, so initial reactions, how do we feel about Shaq's response? Response? I thought it was hilarious. I'm so tired of people disrespecting our city. I'm with you on that. I'm <laughs> so over it, I really am. And I'm with one social media commenter who, who said that they don't believe Shaq watches the game. That's, uh, how, that's how I feel. Uh, I'm gonna watches agree, games. I think he does, but I don't think he watches Toronto. Well, I do think it's so interesting that he said this, I mean, a week after the, both teams played in Toronto mm -hmm. and what happened? The Raptors beat them. Exactly. Now, if he was talking about the point and from the lens of, okay, when you're looking at where each team sits right now in the standings and the fact that Philly is going to have home court advantage, I could see where maybe he could get the justification to say Philly has a better chance of beating Toronto based off of maybe that, having yes, that home court but advantage. But to say we're going to get swept. In fact, didn't Joel Embiid just last week say that the Raptors are one of the toughest teams for him to face. I think he said Raptors are the toughest team, not one of them. Uh, well, it's it's the see, look at that, team. look at that. Like, I'm, yeah. I'm even giving Shaq a bit more leeway here. So here's my thing. Is this then just another example of Toronto being disrespected by yes. American media personalities? Yes. yes, and that is my point. I am so sick and tired of us getting downplayed because everybody in other major cities in Canada talks about how people in Toronto think they're at the center of the universe, mm -hmm. right? You've lived there, I've lived there, yeah. right? However, everybody in the rest of the world seems to think that we're trying to be something we're not and what we are is a world-class city. So I don't know why we keep having to have this conversation. And it's almost like, the, you know, when people attain things in the city or they accomplish things, it yeah. doesn't hold the same weight or value to people down south. Yeah. to a lot of media personalities down south. And it's almost like because Toronto's that, the only team that isn't in the States. And maybe because of that scenario, we don't get as much media attention. We don't. Or, or they don't watch us as much in the States. Mm -hmm. And so they seem that they can just pass over all the accomplishments or all of the goodness that's happening here. Shaq works on TNT. Yeah. He broadcasts his national games like across the States every Thursday, every Tuesday. Mm -hmm. I think Raptors only have one game for the whole season. Right, so we're not TV. getting that national and exposure. Philadelphia has like probably top five. Right. And just They're like with music and anything like that, like pop culture kind of stuff, if it doesn't get picked up in the States, it's not getting picked up here. Or maybe mm -hmm. they just need to understand like they got to do more homework. And like if you're going to be, like yes. remember the NBA yeah. still consists of a team outside of the States. So yeah. You can't just be talking out of your ass. Maybe this is actually going to be good for the Raptors then. Because maybe this is going to mm. fuel that underdog they mentality. Approve, right? Which they do 100%. have. Which they do have. That's they the do. one thing about this team. Well about, look, yes, that, yes, when they have that underdog mentality, because they, they know they're going to talk trash about us. They don't respect us. You almost come with a extra swagger. Like you know yeah. what? What do we really have to lose? Mm -hmm. They really think we're going to lose. So what do we have to lose? And you know, we didn't even talk about one of their starters, Matisse Thybulle. Yeah. He won't even be able to play in games in Canada because he's not vaccinated. Ooh. My reasoning for getting in that game wasn't really the downsides i just didn't feel like it would benefit me i didn't see any benefits outweighing what i could seek from alternative medicine one of the things my dad taught me growing up he's like you're free to do whatever you want as long as you're willing to accept the consequences of it and like like i said i, I considered deeply all the all the different avenues and of course i've accepted that this could hurt money contracts it could 
reputation, but I felt like this was the right thing that I needed to do for myself. But Shaq probably so, didn't even know that. Probably not. Before he talked out of his ass. I wonder if he could name three players on the Raptors. Who, Shaq? Shaq. Shaq, if you're watching this, name three <laughs> players on the Raptors right now. Anyhow, how are you guys feeling about this? Do you think Shaq is wrong? for saying that the Raptors are going to get swept? Do you yes. think his prediction is absolute trash? Also, yeah. Or do you agree with him? No. And for any of the Raptors watching, because you never know, yes. sometimes they do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just know we are cheering you on. Give me a let's go Raptors, let's go. Yo, let's go Raptors. Hey BG Squad, thanks so much for checking out our channel. And listen to this, we have more great content for you, like this video right here, and this video right here. By the way, don't forget to subscribe to this channel right now and tap that notification bell.